This is a series of uh, painting which I've done recently. This painting is, this part is the Clark Key. You can see that this painting which I depict is totally on Chinese ink on rice paper. And I use some colors to, to blend with this painting to make this painting more interesting. So the most important thing in this, my painting is, I'm more concentration is on all these brush strokes. So after I finish this painting, and I find that the painting itself is very monotonous. So in order to make the paintings more interesting, otherwise this is just like a painting without a soul. So these are the strokes which I add is very important. This Chinese ink, you cannot make amendment like the acrylics painting, which you can overlap. So when this strokes is done, when it's good, it's good. When it is no good, you cannot take it away. So this is very challenging. one of my favorite painting because this is sweet strips and then you see that here you don't have to you don't see these vegetable vendors flowers vendors here anymore so here now I think they're more or less turned into a, a, a coffee shops along this alley these are the ink brush strokes to make the painting more interesting other is just like a painting without a soul I'm very ha happy with this artwork because I find that it's a lot of characters To be an artist, you know, they are artists have different, they are uh, different or different type of ideas. Some artists prefer not to paint a lot of mediums. They prefer to paint oil, they prefer the watercolor, and they do not want to like experiment with any other mediums. But as for my part, I always believe that I would like to experiment with all sorts of different mediums. So after I've done all this like, acrylic for so many years, I decided to try on this Chinese ink. And all the while I've been along, I've been very impressed by those Chinese ink master. And I find that the works are very interesting. The Chinese ink, especially the brush stroke. So I decided to paint a, a series of artworks on Chinese ink. Of course, initially it's very, very challenging because the difference between the Chinese ink and the acrylic is totally different. Here, Chinese ink, oh, you must use like what we said, Chinese say, Qing Gong. Well, on the canvas, it's different. You have to use very brush strokes. So there's a lot of difference. Like all these strokes, you have to use very Qing Gong because this style of paper is so, is, uh, so, so fragile. So uh, it, it's hard to pull up. So I have to be very careful with, with uh, handling with this style of brush strokes. To differentiate the old Chinatown and the new Chinatown is that the old Chinatown, you can see people hanging clothing outside the windows. You see, now the Chinatown, you don't see people hanging clothing out through the windows. So here, it's no more all these vegetable vendors. Now it's totally different already. The wares they are selling now is totally different. So you can see the difference between the old Chinatown and the new Chinatown. Of course, this building is there, but this building before looked very depleted. But now it's already restored and looked very, uh, very new. But I think it's a bit... I find it's a bit less character. La. So this is the river boats along the Singapore River. So this boat is uh, just outside this Empress Museum. So at the time one afternoon when I passed there, I saw that this boat is in the afternoon and then it's quite quite quiet. So I captured this scene on my photographs. And I decided to paint a piece of this to re recollect the past memories of the Singapore River. So you can see that I paint only these few boats and even I don't paint the figures inside. I want to make this painting look very, uh, very, in a very quiet moment. So this painting is the Chinese Lantern Festival. So you can see that these are all the lanterns. So here now the way, now the way they display is totally different from what I seen here. So this is the early 70s, the displaying of the lantern and the way they hang the lantern is totally different. How they, they hang it in such a way like I find it's too very complicated. Here that is not so complicated. I add a bit more red colors and a touch of blue. Yeah, to, 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 deplete, to depict this, uh, the lanterns. So here I leave it for fang song. So the concentration is on this part. So in the early days, you will see that 
the Indians will set up a stall over here under the, the house, under the buildings, and then they will set up a small stall here, and then they will sell cigarettes, la, uh, sweets, la, knickknacks, all this. So here, this painting was done in Berra Road. So I captured only this part, the rest of Fang Song. La. So the concentration is only on this part. Yeah, this is in Berra Road. So it's also one of the vanishing scenes of Singapore, which you don't see. Thank you.